Hi, I'm Tim. Join me in this video. Imagine you're flying your RC model airplane, drone, even a free flight airplane. It goes down behind the tree line and now you got to go into the woods to find it. In this video, I'll show you using the R11 remote ID system, how you can use this paired to your smartphone on a map to find that lost aircraft. Let's get to it. Mm -hmm. So remote ID is now the rule. Uh, this is being filmed in August of 2024. This is the Roku R111 remote ID module. I'll have a link to a video in the description where I go completely over this. Again, this is a very new remote ID and it's a nice little unit. It's small, as you can see, it weighs less than half an ounce. It's got a self-contained battery, so you don't have to connect it to your receiver or any other battery on the airplane. It obviously uses GPS as part of its remote ID system, but built into this um, Ruko remote ID unit and the free app that you put on your iPhone, you can use it to locate this remote ID if your aircraft goes down behind the tree line. And oh, by the way, the best thing about this unit, you can get it as of August of 2024 for $40. Roku's got a very good app. When you buy this remote ID, it's a very um, useful instruction manual. On their website, they have nice little one, two minute videos, how to do various things. If you're new to the remote ID, you'll have to take your FAA registration, which is a recreational flyer. You have one registration number for all of your aircraft. On the FAA Drone Zone website, you will log into that with your registration number. You will do what they call add a device. This is the device. It has a unique, um, a serial number for this device on the back. So now the FAA can associate this remote ID with your registration number. With the app that you download on your smartphone, you add your registration number, this drone number, so those are matched up. You bind the, um, um, the app with Bluetooth in your smartphone to this system. So now everything is working, talking together, and they know who you are. And that's the entire point of remote ID to identify the pilot, the location of the drone for uh, law enforcement authorities, or in the case of this drone, how to locate your drop, your downed drone. Let's now take a quick look at the Roku app that you download to your smartphone. There's a quick read code of the directions. You'll just get a feel for what it looks like, and more importantly, the map we're going to use to locate uh, this remote ID, which should be attached to your drone, RC model, even a free flight airplane. The very complete user's manual comes with the unit. It's also on the app. Here's a quick read code where you can download the app. The unit charges in 40 minutes. Red is charge and a green light in the middle means everything's operational. Let's take a look at the smartphone and there is the Roku Scanner app. We click the device, the drones around and that allows us to track the drone. We zoom out a little bit to find where the locator uh, blue dot is. There it is. We can zoom in. And you can see the information flips between the um, drone registration and remote ID serial number. Let's head down to the RC field. We'll do a little demonstration. I'll go out to the field. I will take this remote ID, locate it some distance away from where the flight line is, and then I'll show you how with the app on the map we can locate this remote ID simulating a downed aircraft. For the demonstration, we're going to take my Bronco here. This is one of my designs for foam board. It's a great flyer. There's a description in the link. Full plans um, you can make it in two days. But anyhow, the remote ID is just temporarily mounted here. Pretend it's in the airplane. And we're going to pretend right here uh, is the crash site. So I'm going to put the airplane down. I'm going to walk down to a simulated point where I'm flying. Then I'm going to use the tracker to um, find the remote ID at this simulated crash site right here. So we'll do that now. To simulate the uh, finding the remote aircraft, it'll be in just near my house. I'll walk 150 feet away and <clears throat> turn around. Then I'm going to use the app to locate the uh, model in the driveway. Again, we go to the Roku Scanner app, click Drones Around, that picks us up, brings us to the map page. The information below uh, flips between the registration, my FAA registration, the drone ID. You can see the drone is 47.2 meters away, about 150 feet. We zoom out from the map, we locate where the um, drone and where I am. We can zoom in with our fingers. Again, we're only 150 feet away, so we're going to be pretty close, but it'll give you an idea of the accuracy to locate your drone. 
So here I am walking up the street. I am at the left, the blue circle. At the right, the circle with the pointer. That's where the drone is in my driveway. And this is uh, me, the blue and the left, literally walking towards the drone. Uh, this is a walking pace. So you get, you get some idea of the accuracy. You can see that I can point to the left or the right. The little uh, pointer on that circle shows the direction uh, where I'm headed. I continue up the street. I can zoom in a little bit. We'll check for traffic uh, across the road here in a moment. And they'll go uh, to my driveway where the remote ID on the Bronco is located. I'd like to show you one other video of another user from the Amazon website where you can also buy the, um, uh, the, the Roku R11, one of a drone operator who lost his drone in the woods and used the, um, the module to find this drone. Thank you for tuning in. I think this Roku is a nice little remote ID unit, lightweight, self-contained battery. By the way, it takes 40 minutes to charge. The battery lasts for five hours. And you can use it to locate your downed drone, RC model airplane. You can even use it for a free flight model. Free flight does not need remote ID. But if you're concerned about losing your airplane, a great way to locate where this thing is on the app, a map within the app. Thank you.